Hey, America, Sean McGough here. I'm listening to B. Tatum on the way to work. Guess what? The leader, one of the leaders of BLM bought a $1.4 million house in a white neighborhood. Every white person, every 50-year-old white guy who's tired of being called a racist, get over there and pray. I'm not even a prayer. I would have a Bible out. You know what I said? I'm not going to have a Bible out. I would be in front of her house saying, oh, 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 oh. I'd have the Baptist, I'd have the Jews, I'm marrying everybody. She's an evil bitch and she just proved it. She could have bought in a black neighborhood and said, look at me, I'm buying in a black neighborhood. Why? Because I believe in my black culture. I don't believe all this gang violence bullshit. That's not black culture, that's assholes. We got to be white people. Guess what we did with the white kids? We said, stop it. You're not a gangster, you're an idiot. Go get a job, asshole. All right? And we kick their asses and we don't cry when they get locked up or shot. That's the way it is. You want playing a gang? You want being an asshole? You get shot. That's that's life. You were stupid. I would be in front of her house. I said I wouldn't have a Bible. Oh, I wish I was still in California. I'd be out there every day listening to the fat lady. Oh, the fat... I would... Oh, oh please be Tatum. Get some people out there. Every day, chant in front of her house. Chant. Who's the Lord? What is God? Amen. 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 You got me out there, brother. The saints come marching in. Oh, Lord, the saints come marching in. Oh, don't you hear me now, brother? Oh, we have on this number. Because the saints... Come marching in, jabba 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 j